Okay, so in this video, I'm taking a look here at um, uh, Wooldridge introductory econometrics and just some examples provided. And the source here is uh, Listahi um, GitHub. So I'll just show you the link. And there's a few interesting um, repositories here, uh, but the one I'm specifically interested in here is the Wooldridge Python notebook. So if you go in and take a look at the work that's there, we could uh, open up the link to the introductory econometrics. And then uh, you can see uh, basically a number of the examples worked out in the Woldridge uh, introductory textbook, textbook are worked through. So maybe just to uh, clarify a little bit, uh, the introductory econometrics is now in the seventh edition, Modern Approach, Jeffrey Woldridge. Uh, the publisher here is Sengage. And the table of contents in the textbook includes everything from simple regression, multiple, mul all the issues relating to multiple regression, heteroscedasticity, um, breaches or violations of the normal assumptions, uh, using OLS with time series, uh, chapter 13, pooling cross-section across time, instrumental variables, and uh, limited dependent variables. So quite an expansive range of topics. It's a full course on econometrics. What's provided here in the uh, GitHub, if I go back in, uh, ranges from, doesn't cover all the chapters, but it touches a number of them. And whether you're a student or instructor, I think you would find it instructor to go through. So let's just set it up quickly in a collab. So I copy the URL link. I'll go into Google Colab. And then when opening the collab, we'll use the option for linking to GitHub. And then I paste in the URL, control V, and search for that notebook or that GitHub. And then we can save this to our own drive uh, or we can um, execute in. Um, so I can run and execute and it will not save to my own drive, right? And that, that would be perfectly fine. Alternatively, you can save as a copy in your drive. and um, maybe put a timestamp on. So for instance, today is 2203.24, and we can save that to our drive, right? So file save, and we can go in later on, take a look. But if we open up the table of contents, you'll see here many of the chapters are addressed. So out of the 19 chapters here, we can see that there's work uh, all the way through to chapter 10. Not every example in the textbook is provided, but just to run through, we'll load in NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. So these are uh, NumPy's for multi-dimensional array mathematical operations like matrix multiplication, so on, Pandas for tabulating your data, for creating the data frames, matplotlib and matplotlib is for graphing and stats model for producing econometric style uh, regression output, right? And we just go through. Now it's important, you have to do a pip install on the data. Uh, so this is a Woolridge. If you check for this, you'll find that there's a Woolridge um, library. And there basically you'll find that the, um, the data sets that are provided with the textbook are made available. And we can pull those in using from Woolridge import. That means if we're looking for the first set of data in chapter two relating to wages, we get a nice tabulated overview of 
uh, the data set and then to run a regression, right? We create the data object and we can graph using matplotlib. So we can see here years of education does seem to be having some uh, positive effect on the hourly wage rates. And this of course is data from 1976. So the hourly wages look a little bit depressed here, but it's 1976. And we can run our regression. And uh, we could probably just turn that around and run. So what we're trying to do, take the log of wages and make it our dependent variable and then uh, estimate the effect of education in the log of wages. So you, hear, you see here now the uh, log of wages is the dependent variable and we've no constant in the relationship. Um, so zero, one, two, seven, one. Now on the link below the video, I will leave a link uh, to the web page where I've set this up. Uh, but I was working previously on uh, Lishati's. Uh, I just added a few small elements to uh, the uh, GitHub version, not much, in fact, right? Just some basic um, pointers, right? That would be useful for my own students. Um, and so we're loading in the data again, do a pip install on Muldridge. Now, again, uh, below the video clip, I will leave a link to the Google Colab and the video clip and Colab will sit together. Uh, so you can observe, we pull in the data again and we want that wage one data set. All we have to do is data woo, and we get an output, a summary of the data set. So this is chapter two, we're following in sync with the, the textbook. Um, you've got, typically speaking, you've got a processing and power and collab, the equivalent of a gaming machine. And we want to eyeball the wage data. So what's here in summary, you could probably eyeball in a more expansive type, uh, perspective and just take a glance at the 526 rows, 24 columns, what that feels like. Um, if you wanted to, you could say using the pandas command, you could push that out. The wage data object, you could push out into the content folder where your data will sit. So if you come down here to the content folder and if you wanted to download that data as a CSV file, no problem. And we can just open up and take a look, which sometimes, curiously, the data, although Google Colab and Pandas combined actually give you really good perspective, um, sometimes there's no harm taking a look at the naked uh, data and just eyeball it in your, in your Excel as the CSV file. So if I go back in here again, uh, we can run the scatter plot, pull out, run the regression, and get out the results. And you can compare the results if we want to do um, add in a constant. We can use stats model to do that. And if you check, so what I've done, I've basically gone through this collab uh, based on again the link so the link will be uh, again underneath the video to the original github from Lestati right I will go back to the link and uh, the results um, that are outputted from the uh, this python notebook I verified the check against what's in the textbook so Again, for teaching at least the 10 first chapters there, you could run through the different examples and um, you can identify how the numbers are produced. So uh, always useful when you're going through the textbook, the examples that you might be uh, passing by, looking at, that you can verify that the results are reproducible. Right, and uh, that's what emerges. So chapter three, hourly wage rate again. And if you wanted to do some more explicit 
type modeling. You can look at the nature of the relationship between uh, years of education and log of wages and so on. So I won't go through it all because there's quite a bit there, uh, but plenty to uh, get your teeth into. Um, and uh, most textbooks uh, make reference to the um, uh, Boston House Price data set. Uh, there's a version of that here. Uh, well worth taking a look, especially when we look at ISLP, uh, the uh, text and resources uh, where the coverage is more in the machine learning format. Interesting to look at this data set from more traditional type of econometric analysis. Um, and uh, probably should mention here as well, uh, there is another um, notebook, um, uh, ebook available uh, from Solomon Nagash. Um, and he he runs through similar set of examples, but goes further into chapter 11, 12, and all the way out to the advanced topics, advanced time series. And then there's a version of Stata uh, and R there as well. And um, you might follow the links to Solomon um, uh, as well. So there's a complementary set of resources that uh, take you beyond chapter 10 as well. And I will leave a link to that in this collab uh, and beneath the video clip um, also. And I'll do another video clip on that um, just to eyeball a little bit uh, the work that was done there. Also very interesting. Okay, so uh, with that, let's just leave that there.